So anytime that I fall asleep with some wet hair in the morning, it's like the perfect dampness to do a little bit of a blowout. It's not necessarily going to look the greatest and how it looks in this video, only because my layers have grown out immensely. So it's kind of just to make this mess look a little bit more nicer because this is literally me rolling out of bed and I think it's like 10 a.m. I don't really know what I'm doing with my day today, but I really want to just start it off with me having nicer hair so I can feel a little bit better about myself and the time that I woke up at. So here we go. Look at how much better this looks. Why can't I just wake up looking like this side every time? It's fine. I don't know if that transition will work. I probably look like an idiot. I honestly, whenever I do my hair, I just feel like 10 times more productive. I feel like I want to do things. I'm glad we got the hairstyling out of the way for today. This feels really weird because I have not vlogged in such a long time and it just feels very foreign to me and I don't know where my vlogging tripod is even so today's weather is so nice i really want to go outside but i do have some things around the house that i need to do i need to put away my laundry because this mess over here i would show you but it's actually really scary so i really want to do that i also want to continue editing my video which i'm supposed to be posting tomorrow anyways i really need to eat it's been a little bit over like an hour of me not eating anything since i woke up we are going to start the day off with making some matcha i got this really cute double walled cup from the superstore i don't know if the u.s has a superstore but i'm sure you guys have something alternatively better but she's so cute so whenever i make my matchas coffee literally any kind of beverage it just looks so much more appealing in this cup if you guys don't know already i'm obsessed with my david's tea vanilla matcha i'm obviously not sponsored by david's tea but david's tea again if you are watching this hit me up the first thing that you're obviously going to need is your matcha powder you're gonna need your cup so i usually do one tablespoon of my matcha that then you're just gonna grab some water you can use warm temp just don't use too hot of a water and i usually fill it up to this amount i use a milk frother but i'm sure you can use like a matcha mixer i just feel like this is 10 times faster the next things you're gonna need are just the things to add into it I guess I like my matcha iced so this is my little ziploc bag that I keep all of my ice cubes in something about circular ice cubes just make it look a little bit more I don't know, aesthetically pleasing, I guess. I ran out of oat milk, so we're just gonna use my almond milk. This is vanilla flavored, so it just adds a little bit more to the flavor of vanilla. I don't add too much of the milk just because I don't want it to be just straight up milk. So, can never forget your reusable straw. And I'm just mixing everything in. And there's my matcha. This is actually my favorite time of the day because I actually get to enjoy my mornings and drink my favorite drink. Hello. That's how I make my matcha. Okay guys, I just did a light look on my face. I'm really happy with my makeup today. I don't know what it is. It just feels a little bit more lighter and I just, I don't know. So right now I just want to clean up my room and then just a little bit because I just got ready and every single time I do my makeup, it's honestly so crazy messy. So I don't know if anyone else has been very interested in getting lip blush, but for anybody who is just like myself, I found something that actually gives 
gives you the illusion that you have lip blush. So I have two products. One is a more higher end one. One is literally like five or six dollars at the drugstore. Obviously, we're gonna go with the one from the drugstore, but if you're looking for something, I really, really like the Makeup by Mario Rose Glow Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Oil or Lip Serum, sorry. It has like a little sheen to it, but it has, I believe, like plumping properties to it. So I really like her. And then this one, this is a $5 hack for you guys. It's literally Vaseline Rosy Lips Lip Balm. So you can either get it in the tube or the tin, but I feel like the tube is like 10 times more sanitary and it's a little bit easier to kind of get some product going. And I'm just gonna press some on here. Then after I go in with this because it has the plumping properties and I'm just gonna apply this all over. So yeah. I wanted to do a little bit of a haul, so I'm just gonna show you guys the things that I've gotten recently. To be honest with you guys, I have not been spending too much money because I recently made a very big girl purchase. And I'll explain that in a second, but it was just a very big thing that I splurged on and it's actually something that I really needed. But I did pick up some itty bitty little tops, of course, because I just cannot resist. From our favorite place, near and dear in our hearts, Aritzia, we love. Okay, so I picked up some tops, just things obviously that I didn't need, but a part of me needed it. If you guys didn't know, they're having their clientele sale, so everything on sale publicly is on the website, so I did a little bit of shopping and I got some things. So this first one, I actually wore it already and got so many compliments, but the first thing that I got is the Santa Cruz zip up and everybody and their mom is looking for the BBL effect type of shirt. This is in the Heather Light or heather ice light gray i'm not too sure i'll put it in the screen for you guys there's just so many different grays now at aritzia so i cannot keep up and i got this in a double extra small moving on um the next thing that i got they're actually the same thing just in different colors and i don't know why i thought i needed this but one of them has to go so let me know which color i should keep so it's called the ronette tank top and it's honestly <laughs> It's giving last year Y2K on TikTok. Do you guys know what I mean? But it's this like lace top. It's not lace fully, but it has like a lace trim on it. And I think it's really cute for like really hot summer days. But uh, this is in the color fluid blue. And I got the color we cannot resist here black i think black i can always wear with literally anything i don't want to have two of the same tops so let me know which color i should keep should we keep the black or the blue you guys let me know the next thing that i wanted to show you guys is actually something that my friend made his brand is called air Voyance, and look at the packaging so cute it was honestly folded a little bit better in the bag, but I took it out out of excitement. But they're just a pair of shorts. I'll show you guys right now. This is the shorts. They're so cute. I love, it just says Air Voyance at the bottom and they're just white, especially for those hot days. I'm sure I can dress it up or dress it down on any kind of occasion. <laughs> And I'll let you guys know how I style them. If you guys follow me on my Instagram or my TikTok, I will post either on there. Check them out. I will link him in the description box. And yeah, but anyways, I need to go and charge my camera and then move on with my day. So yeah, I'll be here with my matcha editing tomorrow's video. <laughs> It's so gloomy outside, but I'm going to do my hair. I feel like I just did my hair, but to really think about it, the last time that I did it was in February, so it's been a while. So I'm just going to do a touch up because oh, my hair is so oily. My roots are really grown out. I really want to go a little bit lighter, and then maybe for the winter and fall, I'll tone it to be more brown, but I want to be blonde just to see what I would look like. And then for my outfit, because I didn't do a proper one, I'm just wearing a hoodie, um, some biker shorts, and I'm a little late and I need to go find parking and I hate parallel parking so let's go <laughs>
okay guys it is the next day unfortunately i just was a little bit shy to vlog in the salon yesterday only because i felt like there was a lot of people in the salon so i didn't want people to feel uncomfortable with the camera in their face and like a really big mic just picking up on everybody's conversations so i decided to just vlog a little bit on my phone here and there but i'm gonna show you guys my hair now i'm so excited because i am so in love with it and everything i feel like came out the way that i wanted it i wanted it to be like an ashy blonde but not silver but more of like a summery like blonde i guess so i have my rollers in i'm just gonna remove them now but i think i got it sorry guys i'm like trying to film a tiktok while also making this video so I feel like on my camera, the angle wasn't good. I was kind of focusing on my TikTok here, but this is the new hair. I was so excited when she revealed it to me. I was like, yes, like this is exactly what I wanted and I'm so happy with it. I also wanted to show you guys my outfit because it's so cute. Very casual, but I think you guys might appreciate a little bit of an outfit, an OOTD. So top that I have on, it's actually a bodysuit. It's super old Wilfred free, I believe, but they have a very similar spaghetti strap contour bodysuit, which I honestly think is so much better. I already have this one, so there's no point in me getting two of the same thing. Um, they're actually the same thing, just in different colors. How ironic, huh? I literally got two of the same shirts, just in a different color. Anyways, I'm wearing these asymmetrical jeans from Princess Polly. For my shoes, I was kind of torn between wearing like really, really cute sandals or I wanted to wear my Chanel dupes from the kids section from Zara. These little gladiator type sandals. I think I'm going to do this just so it's like, you know, a summer vibe. Anyways, ever since I think SZA dropped her album though, I feel like, or her newer one, I think she just like re-released like her old SoundCloud songs. But anyways, like ever since then, I've just been listening to SZA so much recently and I'm just, I love Control. Like if you guys know me, that album, I know word for word. And I listen to her every single time I'm in the car which brings me to my very big girl purchase that i wanted to talk about i recently got my own car and if you guys watched my vision board for 2022 that was one of my biggest goals to do is to like have my own car i wanted to share this with you guys because this is really big news to me i feel like this is a very big milestone for myself even though it's not like the newest the latest car like it's still my first car, you know? And it's a very big accomplishment, I feel. So it's definitely taught me discipline with my finances and the things that I buy and the things, the clothes, literally everything. I have just been a little bit more on top of that and just being a little bit more aware of what I'm buying. So, and I won't lie, my dad did help me with some of the payments, but from here on out, I will be paying for it by myself. I have work, so I can't really go too in depth with this, but growing up, my family and I, we know weren't the wealthiest people birthdays would come around i wouldn't expect anything from them but gifts weren't really a thing the love that they give was enough and it still is so he gave me a little bit to afford this car but you know i'm still very grateful um and i'm getting like watery eyed because i'm like thinking about it now you know and 20 something by SZA is just playing in my head that song literally gets me emotional anyways i'm just very grateful and very thankful for everything that i have been given in my beautiful life i just feel like i'm thriving like i don't know what it is something has been in the air where i just feel like things are going good again and i think for a long period of time which is part of the reason why i just like took a little bit of a break i was just very stressed and overwhelmed and everybody is allotted that it's you know natural and normal to feel stressed and overwhelmed about everything and for me it was more so like my schedule i just feel like i didn't know what exactly i was doing with my life i'm not in school i you know don't have the traditional jobs that people have as a full-time job i'm working two part-time jobs this being one and i sat down and i really just wanted to thank the lord literally for <laughs> literally all the blessings that i've been given and things are finally going my way i feel like i know what i want to do and it's not like blinded by anything and i hope it doesn't get blurry in a couple of days weeks maybe tonight i don't know but i'm feeling okay now just like a lot of changes in my family as well i don't know if i'm allowed to share this information but i will be an aunt 
<laughs> and I'm so excited about that. It's a very big adjustment and me and my hair girl, Teresa, we were talking about this yesterday when I was doing my hair about like, you know, the little adjustments that are going to be required for this family change because the dynamic's going to be a little bit different. The household is going to be a little bit different, but I'm like so ready to be an aunt and just spoil that child because it's the first child in our house. So yeah. And life's just gonna get busier and busier, but I think that's what I need. It's 11 11. Make a wish. I need to go to work now. But if this is the end of the vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys wanna see more of me, make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram as well as my TikTok. I say this every time, but they will be linked in the description box. And let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. I know you guys. I know you guys have something in your head. Just, you know, say it. Say it so that I can provide for you guys, you know? This is gonna be a healthy relationship. We're gonna communicate, okay? I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.